If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and the subscribe below so I can keep on making these cool videos for you. Are you tired of your normal breakfast? Cereal, pancakes, eggs and bacon? I love all that stuff, but I also want to try something new with you. So let's get into these bubble waffles that we're gonna make today. Check these out. I have regular vanilla, red bean, and black sesame. We got some Asian flavors going on. This is gonna be a cool, easy recipe for you to do. There is a difference between the Hong Kong egg waffles that started in China and mine. Mine are a little bit simpler. So in Hong Kong, they like to use custard powder and tapioca starch. And mine use ingredients that you already kind of have in your pantry, except for a few special ones that make these really awesome. One of the things is mochiko flour. You know my favorite mochiko sweet rice flour, the one I use in my mochi donut recipe. Go see that. You're gonna love it. But it's the same as this glutinous rice flour right here, and you can get either one and they would both work. They add this delicious, chewy, mochi texture to my waffles that you're just gonna love. Here's the waffler brand I use. It's called Star Blue. I got it off Amazon, but when I got it, which was about a year ago, it was like $30. Now they're around $40, but look how pretty they are with the bubble edges and the little wells here. Now, if you don't wanna go ahead and purchase this, you can purchase a dash maker. Again, I bought this way back when, when it was only $10. These are now ranging from 20 to 30 bucks. So, but it does save you a little bit of money and you can still make quick waffles with this little waffle maker. Let's get to those ingredients. So it's gonna be really simple for you, except for these few ingredients that you need the red bean to make the red bean waffle, and the black sesame. Whoa. For the dry ingredients, we're gonna need one cup of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of mochiko flour, half a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. We'll set the dry ingredients aside and now start with the wet ingredients. Two cups of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla. You can add as much or as little vanilla as you like, but I like two teaspoons. Two eggs and your two tablespoons of melted butter that's slightly cooled. Let's add those wet ingredients to the dry. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful light eggy color. And we're gonna mix that in. This is actually gonna make enough for eight waffles. And these little elbow grease, but you don't have to use a stand mixer. And you don't have to sift. And you can eat them right away. That's another difference between these and the Hong Kong egg waffles. They want you to put it in the fridge. I can't wait that long. I love breakfast. I wanna eat it right now. And my kids wanna eat it now, so that's why. All right, there you go. It's nice and homogenous. Do you wanna take a look at that? So beautiful, silky. You can divide your vanilla batter any way you want. You can keep it all vanilla if you wanna make vanilla egg waffles, or you can divide it like I am with the cup. One cup of batter will give you two waffles in the egg waffler. So I'm putting one cup here for my red bean. Here's one cup that I'm gonna add sesame to. And the rest I'll be keeping plain. This is the sweet red bean paste that I love to get. It's so yummy, you could just like eat it right out of the package. It's delicious and it goes in a lot of Asian desserts. 
like those sweet little balls and donuts and things like that, but we are going to add it to our batter. How do we do that? Right here. You just scoop some out. For every one cup, we put one cup of batter in there, you're gonna need three tablespoons of this red bean paste. It's very sticky, so it's hard to measure. There, go, in, there, okay. If you could smell these, they are so nutty. And that's the flavor they're going to impart to these beautiful waffles. Wait till you see them come out. Anyways, they are roasted, they are black, and there are three tablespoons there for one cup. It's pretty easy, right? Look at that. Almost reminds me of Earl Grey tea when I made those mochi donuts. Check out that video, it's gonna be fun. I keep forgetting the spray. Okay, just a little bit of spray, very light. Oh, that's, that's too harsh actually, <laughs> whatever. All right, three quarter cups of batter right in the middle there. Spread it all around and close the lid. Be careful, this is hot. You're gonna turn it to the left, to the right, back and front, and to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Just kidding. Um, back and <laughs> front, it's like the electric slide. Have you ever done the electric slide? It's one of my favorite dances. Yes. All right, let's leave it there. Let's put the timer on for three minutes. And if you want it extra crispy, four minutes. Go. It's three minutes, the big reveal. Now you can go as long as you want. If you want to go four minutes, that's cool too. Be careful when you pick this up, but I like to put a spatula underneath, transfer it to a beautiful plate, and we're gonna allow that to cool for about five minutes before we start to shape it into the cone. Look at this waffle, oh my gosh. I just wanted to show you how it looks. It's still really hot right now. Oh wow, all right. Look at that crispiness, here we go. Check it out. Whoa, look at that. And then if we break this open, mochi. Uh, mm. <laughs> you can have some if you want. There you go. It's so fun too for anybody to peel off these little bubbles. Peel and dip into Nutella. Mmm, so good. Red bean time. Get your scooper. Oh, I always do that. <laughs> I'm serious, this is the third time I forgot. Put your butter tray. And then get three quarter cups and pour it. Look how cool that looks. All right, let's work fast here. Close it up. I was at the store and I was looking for a cone to do these things that they do with the egg waffle, which is put them in a cone and make them look great and put them with ice cream. And I was like, I can't find cones. I can't even find cups that are big enough. So I looked around in the party section and I found party hats. But the cool thing is, look, you can just pull out that little string and voila, you have a cone. So that's what I'm using. I mean, it's a dollar store thrifty thing, but you know, I'm a mom, so I love saving money. Take your somewhat cooled waffle and just pop it right in. And there you go, you have your Hong Kong style waffle. Does that not look cool? Now you can scoop ice cream into it or drizzle it with chocolate. Ooh, I'm ready to see the red bean. Let's see it. Whoa, oh, oh my gosh. You know what that happens when you don't spray it right or something happened like when I turned it over too fast. Yikes. Oh well, little pieces for me to eat. I'm sorry folks, that didn't, one, didn't turn out right, but I can tell you 
that this one is super yummy. I just know it. And it's very hot, very, very hot, so be careful. Let's see if the other side turned out good. Yep. Here's the red bean. Look at that. You can see the red bean paste inside. So chewy, so delicious. This one's a little different. You don't want to fill it all the way because it will start to puff up. And you do want to spread it just a little like that with your spatula. And then you're going to close it and just leave it alone. You're not going to flip it over like the other one. It's a little bit different. Here we are, four minutes. Oh my gosh, wow, fantastic. Look at the color. And it smells so nutty. Just be careful as you take it out, but I love the way those bubbles have puffed up. Gently put it over to the side and let it sit there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, just look at this. Look at the beautiful color. It's black and white in the middle, and then it's got this lovely brown across. And it smells like nuts. It's, it's very savory, this one. At three and a half minutes, this is what you get. You turn it over and there it is, your waffle. Beauty, beautiful. How do you make them fancy? Well, look, you put them in the little cones and you can add ice cream and drizzle some chocolate on there and sprinkles and you have a little party. What can I say, Glamour and Sugaries, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure you check out my other mochi video, which is my mochi donuts. You're gonna love those, they're awesome. They're so delicious. But here's the one that I'm gonna eat. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So chewy. That's the mochi part that makes these way different from your normal waffles. And this particular black sesame one it's got this nutty, savory flavor, so you can really dress this up. You can do sandwiches with it, ham and cheese, whatever you want. Make sure to hit that thumbs up down below to like my video and subscribe. I really enjoy hanging out with you guys. I hope you get a chance to try this recipe. See you next time, bye. Please, honey, can you refrain from storing? <laughs> telling your dog to stop snoring. She's actually like a human, you know? <laughs> She's so cute. She helped us open presents the other day. <laughs> I was gonna save you and not save the roasted <laughs> sesame seeds. We're gonna let this simmer rate for four minutes. I was gonna say four hours. No, four hours, it will be burnt to a crisp.